What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time to put Goku into Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I know it's nowhere near likely. This is fun, people. This is for fun. We're having fun here. Don't kill the fun. Anyways, we've got lots to go through. Moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. Goku's moveset is pretty easy. He has lots of good material. Of course, his standard attacks would be his martial arts. But one thing people often go with is having his neutral special be the Kamehameha. But come on, guys. Goku barely has to try to do that anymore. He could just whip it out whatever he wants. Make it his forward smash. We've had projectile smash attacks before, like the Mi Gunner and Mega Man. Instead, I think Goku's standard special should be the Spirit Bomb. It would take a while to charge up, sure, but once it is fully charged, the damage will be more than worth it. Goku's side special would be his Ki Blast attack. It would work a lot like Fox's laser, not do much damage and not make your opponents flinch, but it could rack up lots of damage over time if you land a lot of hits. Perhaps these blasts could even chase down your foes if they're close enough. Goku's up special would be the ability to fly, of course, traveling around in his blast of key. It would only be able to travel one direction at a time though, so make sure you're holding the correct direction that you want to go in on your analog stick or d-pad. Goku's down special would be instant transmission. Goku uses this move by targeting and locking onto the key of another individual to teleport to them, and it would work this way in Smash 2. Instead of just going wherever, he would teleport to the closest player, making this move different from Meta Knight's down special. But of course it wouldn't work if he was too far away from everyone. This would prevent it from being cheap if he was trying to recover. Guess what? Goku's alternate forms are his costumes, not his final smash because I chose something pretty obvious for his final smash, don't hurt me. We have his base form, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan Red, Super Saiyan Blue, and of course, his GT costume. Of course, I have his final smash as Ultra Instinct. It'd be like Mega Lucario. Increase in strength, increase in speed. In fact, he'd increase in speed so much that other attacks would phase right through him. Not only that, but since Ultra Instinct is based on breaking past your limits, his spirit bombs and smash attacks would be fully charged from their start. Goku's stages would include Snake Way from Dragon Ball Z. I think Snake Way would be a scrolling stage, similar to Pac-Man or the Super Mario Bros. level from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The platforms would be clouds as they float over the twisting and turning path, and it would be pretty fun to knock players off in between the curves of the road. Then there's the Tournament of Power stage from Dragon Ball Super, a rocky wasteland in the world of Void. It would be a pretty destructible environment, having rocks and mountains you can destroy, plus stage hazards in the background could be fighters from different universes breaking apart the stage as the match goes on. For assist trophies, first we have up Yajirobe. He's your typical swordsman assist trophy, but will also throw you sensu beans. Think of him as a cross between Isabel and Takamaru. Of course, he'd probably just run away from your opponents rather than chase them down. Then there's the Cybermen. You'd summon an army of them, one for each enemy. Now they would chase your enemies down, and eventually cling onto them, and giving you plenty of entertainment by self-destructing to totally Yamcha your foes. I, uh, had a bit too much fun with the Dragon Ball item, so here we go. First up, we have the Power Pole. It's a powerful wooden staff with a power to extend, and if you've ever seen Dragon Ball, you know this thing can reach pretty far. So in Smash, the Power Pole would have the greatest range out of any melee attack or weapon in the entire game. Next up is Goku's Flying Nimbus Cloud. Now at first, I couldn't really think of much to do with this item. I was just gonna have it be a controllable platform like Cortex's hoverboard from my Crash video. But then I remembered in Dragon Ball, Goku would always use this thing to make it to the action as fast as possible. So in Smash, using the Flying Nimbus item would take you to where the most action is at, where players are, where good items items are, or even where the smash ball is floating. Then the final item on our list is a gravity capsule from Capsule Corp. I know, I know, this isn't how Capsule Corp capsules actually work, but it was the only way I could think of on how to implement this effect. Breaking these open would heavily increase the gravity for all the enemy players. It would make it nearly impossible for them to get any sort of jump distance, and if they were off stage, it would practically sink them down to the blast zone. Pretty cool ideas, huh? But I think it's about time to end it. To finish off this video, I'll show you the 8 pieces of music that I think would fit Goku and Super Smash Bros. the best. And you may want to stay tuned for that because afterwards, I'll show you which fighter is next.